We focus on the breath. In the very beginning, it's nothing special. Just the ordinary sensation of the energy coming in, the energy going out. But you have to be convinced, okay, this nothing special can turn into something special if you give it attention. As the Buddha said, all things are fed by attention. So in this case, you want to feed your concentration by paying very careful attention to the breath. The more carefully you notice things in the breath, the more likely you will be to breathe in a way that feels really good. In other words, it's not just by mechanically going through long breathing, short breathing, fast breathing, slow breathing, whatever. It's more of the quality of the attention that you bring to the breath that's going to make a difference. As John Lee says, you can get so that any kind of breathing feels good if you pay attention in the right way. So try to be very sensitive. If the sensitivity gives rise to a sense of ease. And this is the best use of your discernment to figure out which things you're doing that are causing unnecessary stress and hardship. In this case, it's not a lot of hardship, simply it's, it could be more comfortable. As long as you're doing it, you might as well do it in a way that gives rise to well-being. We can use our discernment for other things, but as the Buddha said, this is the best use of it. Figure out what we're doing that's causing stress and what we can do to stop. So try to apply your discernment right here. We're, we're discerning it in so many other things. We've had to learn how to negotiate this world, negotiate the internet, negotiate all kinds of family issues, work issues, whatever. And the best use of our discernment is to figure out how to solve problems. Recognizing a problem, solving it. This is what was special about the Buddha. Other people treated the question of pleasure or pain as peripheral to what they really wanted to teach. But the Buddha said, no, this is the big issue. Focus attention right here. You can imagine if comparative religion had been invented by Buddhism, different religions would be looked at not in terms of what their god was, but how they understood suffering, what they were going to do about it. That's what's a worthwhile teaching as far as the Buddhist point is, is concerned. So try to make most of what he offer, the Buddha has to offer in this area. He reminds us that if you really want to look for the causes of suffering, if you want to look for suffering itself, look inside. Look for the causes inside. Try to develop the qualities of mind, starting with right view, going through right concentration. That will help put an end to the cause. And that way you've used your discernment well.